not 31, here we are at example four. So let's take a look at what we have here. It says solve this equation and give the solution to the nearest thousandth. Okay, so before I get too far in this, I just wanna take note that this is an exponential equation. And I say it's exponential because I see this power here and I see my variable up in the exponent. So things I'm taking note of as I start to go through this, right? Okay, I have an exponential equation. All right. Now, did I have the same bases or did I have different bases? And before we know for sure, I, I want to point out that our power is not isolated here on the left side. So I have a 3 getting multiplied to this exponential expression, right? And really, I want it isolated. And when I say isolated, I want it all by itself on the left side of the equation. So let me divide by 3 here, and I'm going to get e to the 0.5t would be equal to 11 thirds. So taking a look at this, it looks like my base on the left side of the equation is the number e, which is about 2.178. And if I look at my number that's on the right side of the equation, that's 11 thirds, that is not equal to the number e, right? So I have an exponential equation, but the bases are not the same. And when that's the case, when you have an exponential equation and the bases are not the same, what you need to do is log both sides. Now you have the option of doing common log or natural log, but especially because this is base e, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So my next step is to do the natural log of 0.5t, or excuse me, e to the 0.5t, and that will equal the natural log of 11 thirds. Now, if you want, you can write this right side here as a natural log of 11 minus the natural log of 3. It's just not going to be worth it yet. Okay, not even yet. It's just not worth it. Now, some of you might see what's happening here. Let me do a little work to the side. All right. I want to show, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to put a pin in this. Let's pretend you don't see how this simplifies yet. But I'm just going to put a little star here because I'm going to reference it over here. There is a shortcut. If you see how this simplifies, great. And if you don't, that's fine. Let's keep moving. So here, I would take this exponent and I would bring it down in front as multiplication. That was our power property of logarithms. So I would say 0.5t times the natural log of e is equal to the natural log of 11 thirds. Okay? And now I want to solve for t. So I have 0.5 being multiplied here. I have ln of e being multiplied here. So I want to divide both sides of this equation by 0.5 ln e. All right. And again, if you're seeing the shortcut with ln e, great. And if you're not, that's fine too. Let's just keep working this. I will show you all these shortcuts that we can get to. So I will have ln of 11 thirds over 0.5 ln e, and let's crunch that number to the nearest thousandth. Okay, so I will do in this numerator, let me clear this out, I'll do ln of 11 thirds, and I want to divide that in parentheses because I want to divide by both of those things, by 0.5 ln e. All right, and when I crunch that number, I'm going to get about 2.5. 598 and it says go to the nearest thousandth. That's the thousandth place. If I look one digit to the right, that five is telling me to round up. So this should be 2.599. All right, and let's have all sorts of conversations right now. So one thing I want to mention is that sometimes students forget to put parentheses around that denominator. So I will get this semi-frequently. Oops, not ln pi, excuse me, ln e. And what your calculator is doing is it's, it's doing PEMDAS. So it's taking ln of 11 thirds and dividing by 0.5, which is what I want, but then it is multiplying that by ln of e. So what your calculator is doing in this version, it's doing ln of 11 thirds divided by 0.5 times ln e. Because you didn't put parentheses around that denominator, um, of course it's giving me, oh, I know why it's giving me the same number. We'll talk about that in a moment. But I, I do want to be clear that technically you should have put parentheses around that denominator. Now, why is it giving me the same answer? Because you're like, hey, Miss A, you just told me I had to put parentheses around the denominator. 
Well, let's talk about what the LNE represents. All right, so why does making that little typo on your calculator not affect your answer? All right, so let's take a look at the natural log of e to the 0.5t. All right, I had put a star here. I want to talk about this, all right? So natural log is like saying log base e, and we have e to the 0.5t. All right, so we've talked about this before. When the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is the exponent. And what that means is when I see this expression, so let me cut back in here. When I had ln of e to the 0.5t equaling ln of 11 thirds, I could have just canceled this and you could have told me 0.5t was ln of 11 thirds and then you could have told me t was ln of 11 thirds divided by 0.5 and we would have gotten 2.599, right? I would have done ln of 11 thirds divided by 0.5, and there it is. And then you're thinking, okay, why? Because you have this ln e down here. Okay, let's talk about ln e. If I did ln of e, that is like saying log base e of e. All right, and this is basically e to the first. So when the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is that exponent. So ln of e is always equal to one. All right, so that's why it didn't technically make a difference if I put the parentheses around it for only this problem. It's only because ln of e happened to be one. Okay, all right. So there's your look at this problem. So if you don't notice that this cancels out right away, no problem. Go ahead and work this, right, the whole way through. Bring the exponent down, divide by all of the constants. Even if you're not seeing at this point that ln of e is just the number one, that's fine. Work it through the problem. But the more comfortable we would become with natural logs and base e, the, the quicker we can run through these problems. We can see things are starting to cancel out, right? We can see ln of e is just one, or ln of e to the 0.5t is just 0.5t, and that can help us work the problems a little bit quicker. All right, so with that, we're gonna work another one that has E's in it, and we're gonna use some more LNs, and we'll, we'll practice that shorter method. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye.